Hey everyone, it's PressAdictiveGames.com here, and today I'm finally doing another update on CS50. I know it's been a while, but we've been traveling and going to conventions and stuff like that, so I haven't really had time to code, but I recently finished this one, so I'm really excited to be able to share with you what I did. So, here I made most of the game of 15. I made initializing the board, um, just kind of creating it and making it kind of able to be drawn, which is the next thing that I did, is I made it draw, and then I made it so you could move the board, and then I made a function to check and see if you've won. So, let's go ahead and show you what I did before we actually get into the code. So, I'm actually not very good at CS15, or not at CS15, at the game of 15. I'm not very good at the game of 15. But luckily, CS15 provided me with a little thing that will just play the game for me. So, I don't have to, have to try that because I'm not very good at it. So, let's just see how long it takes to solve the game of 15 with a 3x3 three three board. You can also change the dimensions of the board, which is cool. Um, but it must be a nightmare because you can go up to 9x9. Nine nine. Not, not good. Um, oh, it's actually impressive, but I would not be able to do that. <laughs> Alright. It takes a while to solve. So as that's going, um, let's go ahead and... Wait, was it working on here? Okay. Well, let's just stop that. It takes a while. Oh, God, it's going. Oh. Ah, now it's really good. <sighs> okay. <sighs> we freed it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and show you what I have done. So go all the way down here to initializes. Um, I did not write this very fancy comment. Um, it initializes the game's board with tiles numbered one through d times d minus one. It it, it fills the 2D array with values, but does not actually print them. It just fills the array with values. Don't look at that. It's not. And then it prints the board. Which I also did. Do do do. If um, tile borders, if the tile board is an empty space, so basically, like if there's an empty space, like you slide it, like in the the actual game of 15, you can't just remove something from the corner and put it in the other corner. I mean, you can if you try hard enough, but you can't do it in this program. Um, so if the tile board is an empty space, then it moves the title and it returns true and says you can do that, you did that, and otherwise it just says no, you didn't do that. Um, illegal move here if I run it. Here I can show you a move. 15, 15. Oops. So our blank space is right there next to the 1 and 3. So if I try and move 8, illegal move. I can't move 8. I can't move 4. Well, yeah, I can't move 4. Um, it basically just um, moves it if it's not an illegal move. Then we have 1. Oh, draw. Yeah, draw here. One. It's all the way down here. Which goes through the whole board and checks each individual thing to see if it's in the right place. And if it is in the right place, then it will say, you won the game, good job. Yeah, it'll currently print um, FTW for, for the win. Um, you can change that all you want. I might change, I might after I submit it, change and play around with the looks of it all. Um, but for now, this is what I have. I'm pretty proud of it. It took like, t it took a really long time. It took like 10 hours. Um, because I had to do all four things. And there was just a whole lot of messing around. And not really knowing what I was doing. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's 15. Let's see. I worked really hard on it. Um, if you guys like CS50 and think it sounds cool, then please check it out. It's really fun, and it's definitely a really great way to introduce you to programming um, in C, and they're also going to get into other languages and web dev and all sorts of stuff like that. It's just general computer programming, what you should know if you want to start programming stuff. So it's really great. I'm definitely enjoying it so far. All the lectures are really funny and really amazing, and I definitely enjoyed looking around, trying to... So I'm kind of struggling to find out what I'm supposed to do, but still not so hard that it's impossible. I really like it. It kind of, at least for me, I might just not be <laughs> good at it. But it kind of pushes you a little bit to get going and gives you some stuff that you don't really know how, you don't exactly know how to do. But then um, you can figure it out on your own and you feel really good about yourself. So yeah, if you like CS50, then please check it out. And if you like our channel, then please subscribe. It really helps us out and will help us produce no more and better content. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!